path of destruction. Easier said than done, however. Yes, yeah, Bronson Reed all about Ivar. Well, Chad Gable said that uh, you want to get nuts, let's get nuts. The big man is going to fall hard tonight. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I think anyone who gets in the ring with Ivar is nuts. So certainly we're off to a good start as far as the philosophy of Master Gable goes. So let me ask you, a 2012 Olympian, Chad Gable, what does he have to do against the very unorthodox? Oh, okay. Ivar tonight. Well, you need to do some something unorthodox back, which was exactly what we just saw from Gable. Nobody was anticipating that. Oh, what a hot start from the Olympian. Completely rocking the big man right from the start. Yeah, Chad Gable going right after Ivar now. Whipped across the ring. Up over the top goes Gable. Obviously, the quicker of the two, but do not count Ivar out. There's the power! And that spinning slam. Inside out slam. Using all that torque and momentum of a 330 pound centrifugal force coming crashing down on the spine of poor Chad Gable. You know, there's something perversely interesting about watching Ivar in the ring. Yeah, no one that big and strong should ever be able to do the things that Ivar can do, but he has the power of the Viking gods coursing through his body. That is what Chad Gable's up against tonight. Ivar tried to drop the elbow. Gable able to move out of harm's way. And now a couple of uppercuts by Gable. Thrust right to the throat. Chad Gable, kick to the knee. Gable who had... Oh! Swinging neck breaker. With some great matches with the Intercontinental Champion, Gunther. And now... Oh, headbutt off the top rope. Cover now. Can Gable put Ivar away? And a kick at it too. And you mentioned those matches with Gunther. Obviously, the final ones. Take another look at this leaping headbutt that certainly rocked his opponent, but also himself. Give it a close two count, but all oh, going for that German suplex. Oh. Ivar just too big and too fresh at this point in the matchup. Oh. Ivar, a clubby blow. Have already going to power Chad up into a vertical suplex. Now oh. dumping him over the top rope, but Gable hanging on. They've snapped his neck in the process, however, in desperation to prevent that fall. I think he did a mischief to his upper spine. And now Ivar splat to Chad Gable off the apron. Ivar in control here on Raw. And we are back live on Monday Night Raw. Chad Gable one-on-one -on -one with Ivar. And what a match this has been, Wade. And what is Chad trying to do here from the top rope? Yeah, this is wild for anyone. But when your opponent's as big as Ivar, that is crazy. Oh, my goodness! Superplex! Can Gable capitalize? Well, Gable has taken such a merciless beating in this one. A, I'm surprised he could pull that off. But B, I'm not surprised he was not capable of making a cover after that. But this is what happened before the break. Look at this. Ivar with that running cross body. Absolute zero give in the edge of that ring. And then followed up with pulling out this move on the massive frame of Ivar. The amount of power that required. And this one spilling all over. The ringside area. Yeah, now. Gable and Ivar once again over the top rope out to the floor. What a superplex. Oh, and Ivar went for the heel kick and he kicked the post. The man just clipped his foot on that one, but it was enough to stun the big Viking temporarily at least. And Gable, I thought, had an opportunity, but Ivar gonna lift Gable up, oh. slam him down, sit out, power bomb, cover for the win. By Gable. Well, Gable is just getting ragdolled around the ring by Big Ivar at this point. And you question how much more of this kind of punishment can the Olympian possibly take? Double underhook. Oh, he set out a power bomb by Ivar and almost put Gable away, but tremendous guts by Gable. That dragon screw takes Ivar down, and now Chad Gable. It's gonna happen here. Gable roll through. Trying to pick the angle, trying to turn Ivar into an angle lock. Locked in on the massive leg. Middle of the Ivar. ring, nowhere to go. Ivar trying to reverse somehow, but he can't. Gable, now Ivar to his back and able to. Just such a big calf and ankle, it's hard to get a good grip on that. Gable Maddie. Oh, and just sit down. Oh, that's crushing the rib cage. On the diaphragm of Chad Gable. 
And now it looks like we're going to get a taste of the beard of prey. Measuring his opponent, Ivar with a leg drop from the second rope, crushing Gable. Cover. Chad still in it. Glassy eyed look on the face. I'm amazed that Chad Gable can even breathe after his windpipe just got crushed by the flying Ivar. Ivar, though, right back to his feet, measuring his man, stalking Gable. Ivar, spin kick, caught, picked out of midair by Gable. From defense to attack in the blink of an eye, and back to that ankle. And dragging Ivar to the middle of the ring, and Gable's got the ankle locked up. Ankle lock in round. Is Ivar going to tap? Will Ivar tap out to the ankle lock of Gable? He's a million miles away from the ropes. It's coming, Cole. What a win this would be for Chad Gable. Ivar gets to the bottom rope, forcing the break. And Chad Gable's heart just sank through his feet. He thought he had victory in his grasp. Now is Gable's best opportunity. Ivar now planning Gable again. Shoulders down. Gable still able to kick out. The match continues. It is so frustrating when you're in there with an opponent like Gable, who you know should be defeated by now, but he just refuses to quit. And Ivar having some issues with his right leg leg of course uh, based on the ankle lock by Gable capacity crowd here tonight New Orleans final Monday Night Raw before Saturday night's Royal Rumble match a big Ivar. Ivar's on top he's going for that top two off. nobody home Gable moves out of harm's way and now Chad Gable with a German suplex bridge cover for the win kick out by Ivar at two just a millisecond from victory for Chad Gable Take another look at the power and technique required to pull this off at the best of times. But after you've taken such a beating, it is incredible Gable could pull that off. And now Gable to the top rope, but Ivar meets him there with a chop. This has been a hell of a match here tonight on Monday Night Raw. What do you expect from two competitors like Gable and Ivar bringing their best every single time? But now, someone's got to win this goal. And Gable, Gable now. Oh! German suplex! What a counter! Gable slipped behind Ivar, delivered the German! Well, that is a lot of humanity to come down from the second row. And Alvahala just screaming in Gable's face. And Ivar able to take advantage off the distraction. Dumps Gable right on the top of his head. Yeah, what a sickening landing for Jack Gable, who surely was just seconds away from victory until Valhalla showed her face and out of the top rope the 330 pounder Ivar with a doom salt and the cover give Valhalla the assist here is your winner Ivar that's a shame, Wade. The match had to end like that. Oh, man, that was absolutely wild, and it just got even more wild when Valhalla appeared. But, wow, what a contest. Take nothing away from Chad Gable, who gave it everything. This right this here moment. is incredible. Oh, oh, oh. This is absolutely incredible. Chad Gable turned the entire match around right there, slipping down into a German suplex. And I believe that Gable was going to go for the moonsault before Valhalla. Yeah, Ivar was done there. But once again, it was Valhalla who proved pivotal, and if you connect with this doom soul, at the second time of asking, it is simply game over, no matter how tough and durable you are. Ivar picks up the win over Chad Gable here tonight.